fly. I sit in a house on the edge of the Rift Valley over weekends and used to see vultures frequently. The last few weekends looking out over the Rift Valley, despite the fact that they're good thermals, I haven't seen a single vulture now for several months. Something dreadful is happening to these birds. In East Africa, there are eight species of resident vultures, one of the highest diversities in the world. There are the typical large carcass eaters, such as the repelled vulture, the white bag vulture, the lapis face vulture, and the white-headed vulture. Then the small specialists, like the hooded vulture and the Egyptian vulture. And finally, the odd vultures, the bone-breaking bearded vulture and the palm nut vulture. These fascinating and charismatic creatures are vital for a healthy ecosystem. They help clean up our environment. Without these birds, rotten carcasses will harbor diseases, and this will have a huge impact on the public health of this region's population. Recent research using telemetry has proved that many of these vultures seen here travel throughout the whole of East Africa. All of Kenya's resident species are listed as near-threatened, vulnerable, or endangered by IUCN and local listings. Yeah, you need to throw up, my friend. The worst known disaster through poisoning happened in 2004 in the Kapiti Plains, where nearly 200 vultures, along with many hyenas and jackals, had come from eating a carcass of a cow that was laced with pesticide. People need to recognize that for the vulture to be secured, uh, we've got to stop the availability of cheap um, poison that comes in the form of pesticides. Uh, it's widely distributed uh, in East Africa, and it's wiping out an entire part of the natural ecosystem. There is no reason for these poisons to be used in the way that they're being used, and I think the government of Kenya, uh, probably of the other East African states, needs to be a lot more responsible than they have been thus far if we're going to save the situation.